Hi folks, my name is Danny. Welcome to another video here on Danny's Corner. In today's video, I want to talk about the questions that people ask and how they bother me. And so the question that I'm going to focus today, and it's a question, but it comes in different ways. For example, where's your mom? Or another variation is, where are your parents? Why are you alone? Uh, is she your mom? Um, to me, it's not something that I like hearing. Why do people assume that when I am with someone, that person has to be either my mother or another family member. This is where I don't understand people. How people can be so judgmental. How people can be so dismissive. How people can even not talk to you as a person who has a disability, but they will more than often turn to the person next to me in this case and talk to that person, asking things like, is he this or is she that to you? Uh, or can you ask him, can he do this, can he do that? Or a bunch of other questions. And for adults to do that, assuming they have had formal education this shows a lack of education this is why i think education is so important and i believe that more students with disabilities should be integrated into a class where there are people without disabilities and um i'll get to that in another video but the question is, why do you do that? Do you really care if the person who's with me is my mom or another person related to me? And why should my mom be with me? Would it be fine for me to say, where is your mom? Where is your dad? Where is your uncle? Why do we assume that people with disabilities need help? There is... Uh, a um, a difference between a disability and needing help because not all people with disabilities need help in all areas some people may need help in some areas but not others some people may need 24 7 care uh, and so using the term disability and thinking that a person, just because he or she is disabled, may need help 24-7 is not a good thing. And so, I, I think that these things should be talked about more. Do I have a disability? Yes, I do. But that doesn't mean that I'm not able to do things for myself or on my own and the reason why I choose to have somebody with me I want to emphasize that word choose is because I know how bad different areas in the United States have become as you already know um, cars are honking all the time People walk everywhere. They don't see where they're going and they're not even blind. So how does that work? Anyway, um, so there's a lot of things that can happen when crossing a street, when just walking down the road to the store. It's definitely much more unsafe now that it was than it was when I was uh, growing up. It was definitely much safer then. Um, so I choose to have somebody with me. I don't necessarily need the person. 
So what do you guys think? Uh, let me know on your, your comments. Remember to subscribe, to share, to like the video. Again, make a comment, a suggestion, um, any thoughts that you have about this. If you are, if you have a disability and if this has happened to you while going out with someone, what do you think about this? Um, I'll also remember to hit that notification button so you will receive new alerts when I post a new video and that way you can be one of the first ones to find out of my new video. Thank you very much. Bye.